Hi friends, it's me, Miss Diane. And today we're gonna start getting ready for kindergarten. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna sing some songs, maybe play a little game, and I'm gonna read you a story. So I hope you're ready. All right, let's get our listening ears on, our watching eyes, our thinking caps, and our singing voices. All right? Great. Today is the first day of summer. Whoa, that's so cool. That means that the sun is gonna be out for a long time, probably until nine o'clock. So in celebration of summer, let's sing a sun shiny song. I think you know this song, it's called Mr. Sun. You need your hands for this song because we're going to take our two hands, stick them out in front of you, now put them up above you and make a sunshine. Just like that, right over your head. Great job. And then we're going to say that the sun is shining down on me. Shining down, shining down. Excellent work. Hmm, then the words go like this. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Got it? All right, just follow me. I'm sure that once we start singing, you'll get it. Here we go. <clears throat> Got your hands ready? All right. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. How is that? Did you get it? All right, let's try it again. Get those arms ready. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Good job! All right! Wow! I think we're ready for a game. <gasps> what kind of a game are we gonna play? Well, we're gonna play a rhyming game. I've got some pictures to show you. Here they are. And let me get my marker out because we're going to try to connect the rhyming words from this side of the board to this side of the board. So look at the pictures closely. What do we have here? Oh, well, we have a lake, a jet. Here we have a bone and a tub. Over here we have a cake and a net, an ice cream cone and a bear cub, a cub. Hmm, what word on this side rhymes with the word cub? Cub. Hmm, does cub rhyme with lake? No. Does cub rhyme with jet? No. Does cub rhyme with bone? Mm -mm. Does cub rhyme with tub? It does. Say it again. C 
cub, tub, cub, tub. Great job. Let's connect them. Cub, whoa, tub. Okay. Better put the cover back on my marker. It got a little dried out there. All right. Let's do another one. Hmm. Cone. Cone. Does cone rhyme with lake? No, they don't even sound the same at all. Does cone rhyme with jet? Mm-mm. Nope. Does cone rhyme with bone? Yes. Say it again. Cone, bone. Cone, bone. You got it. Good job. Let's make another line connecting the cone to the bone. Good job. All right. We have two left. Let's see. Let's do net. Net. Does net rhyme with lake? Mm -mm -mm. Does net rhyme with jet? Yes, it does. Say it again. Net, jet. Net, jet. Good job. Let me get my green marker. Let's see. Net rhymes with jet. Awesome. We only have one more left, so I'll bet those two words rhyme. We have the word lake and cake. Do those rhyme? They do. Say it again. Lake, cake. Lake, cake. Awesome. Let me get my green marker and let's connect lake boom to cake oh awesome you did a wonderful wonderful job rhyming let's go over them again ready here we go lake cake jet net bone cone and tub and cub Hey, that was fun, and you did a really good job. Wow, I think it's time for our story. Oh, this is a good one. You're gonna like it. It's brand new. It just came to the library, and I brought it home with me. It's called Rita and Ralph's Rotten, whoops, sorry about the sunshine there, Rotten Day. Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. Hmm, what does the word rotten mean? Rot, well, actually, the word rotten, you usually say like a piece of fruit is rotten. Like if you forget a piece of fruit in the bottom of your lunch bag for a week and it starts to smell and turn brown, mm -hmm, that's rotten. Or sometimes milk that you forget about and you open it and it smells terrible, that's rotten. Rotten isn't good. So rotten, a rotten day must mean that they're having a not so good day. I wonder why. Let's look closely at their faces. Oh yeah, their faces look like they're having a rotten day. This story is written by Carmen Agradidi. And I really like it and I hope that you will too. There we go. In two little houses, on two little hills, lived two best friends. Every morning, Rita and Ralph would open their doors, step outside, close their doors, and run. Rita would run down the hill and up the hill, and down the hill and up the hill. And Ralph would run from his house down the hill and up the hill, down the hill and up the hill. 
and they'd meet under the apple tree and they'd high five and then they'd pinky shake. They'd do a cha-cha, they'd play zombie tag and they'd make daisy chains. See how they strung together the daisies and made little crowns to wear? Have you ever done that? And then one day, they played a new game. It was called Sticks and Stones. Oh no, it looks like Ralph is gonna throw that rock at Rita. Oh, he did, and he hit her in the head. Ow, yelled Rita. Uh-oh, Ralph froze. This was bad, really bad. So they ran away. Rita ran down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill to her house. Ralph ran down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill to his house. Oh look, Rita put an ice bag on her head because of the big bruise. Mm. They opened their doors, raced inside, and closed their doors. Rita was mad. And Ralph was sorry. Rita looks mad in that picture, doesn't she? You can tell by her eyebrows. And Ralph does look sad. You can tell by his eyebrows, too. So Ralph opened the door. He stepped outside. He closed the door. It was a hundred years to Rita's house, but she was his best friend. So Ralph went. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. The long walk made Ralph a smidge grumpy. I'm sorry, he barked, but he didn't sound a bit sorry. So Rita did not open the door. Grrr, said Ralph, and off he stopped. Why didn't Rita open the door? Yeah, because when Ralph said that he was sorry, he didn't really sound like he was sorry, did he? Mm -mm. And now he's mad that Rita didn't open the door. He should have been more sorry. So then Ralph went down the hill and up the hill, and 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 up the hill back to his house. He opened the door, stepped inside, and closed the door. Now Ralph was mad, and Rita was kind of sorry. So she opened the door, stepped outside, closed the door, and ran. Here we go again. Down the hill and up the hill, and down the hill and up the hill, and down, up, down, and up. <laughs> down and up and down and up all the way to Ralph's house. I got a little confused there for a second. Did you? No, you didn't. <laughs> As she ran, she thought about Ralph and that rock and just thinking about her made her mad all over again. Mm, I want my pine cone back, she shouted. So Ralph opened the door Look, shoo, he threw the pine cone at Rita and closed the door. And then Rita tromped down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill, and up the hill, and up the hill back to her house.
She opened her door, marched inside, and slammed her door. Now Rita was mad. <clears throat> and Ralph was mad. <clears throat> and Rita was sad. And Ralph was sad too. Why do you think they were sad? Because they're friends and they were missing each other, right? All they had to do was apologize, say I'm sorry, and then they could be happy again. And in two little houses, on two little hills, no one slept a wink. You can see Rita here in her bed with her dog. And on this side, you can see Ralph in bed with his kitty cat right there. It had been a rotten day. What do you think they should do? Let's see. Just when it seemed that nothing would be right again, it was a new day. Rita and Ralph opened their doors, stepped outside, closed their doors, and went. Ready? Ralph went down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. And Rita went down her hill and up the hill. Down the hill and up the hill. Where Rita said, I'm sorry. And Ralph said, I'm sorrier. That means more sorry, right? And they meant it. I think everything's gonna be okay this time. They did a high five. They did a pinky shake. They did the cha-cha. They played zombie tag. And they made daisy chains. Because best friends always find a way to meet in the middle. Look, they have a plan. They're gonna build something together. Oh, and look, they even had a picnic. Yay, they're best friends again. I'm so happy. I like when people are friends and best friends. Well, they're the best. All right, you know what? Actually, we can play the game with this. We can pretend our hands are the two houses on the hill like that. And we could pretend that Rita and Ralph live in these two houses and they open the door to their house and open the door to this house and then they stepped outside and then they closed the door, closed the door and then they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. One more time, ready? Up the hill, down the hill until they met in the middle because that's what best friends do. Thank you friends for listening today. You know what? We can sing a goodbye song. Do you remember the more we get together where we pinch our little sandwich like that? And then we stir our pot of soup and then we're happy. So we wipe the crumbs off our shirt and then we use the word friends. Friends, friends, friends. Got it? Let's sing together. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <gasps> Yay! All right.
right, friends, go out there and enjoy the first day of summer and go out and play. And um, I'll see you again very soon. We'll sing some more songs and we'll read some more stories and we'll play some more games. Okay? Great. Bye for now. <gasps>